The following transactions transpire during the liquidation of the North, South, East, and West Partnership. Ang requirement, prepare journal entries to record this liquidation transaction. So, last time ang ginawa natin, cash distribution program pa lang. Wala pang liquidation transactions. So, ngayon, gagawin natin, journal entries, liquidation transactions na. Using cash distribution program as basis sa payment to partners. And ito yung balances na galing dun sa balance sheet ng first part. Dun sa first part ng video nung ginawa natin tong schedule na ito. Ngayon gagawin natin journal entries. And ang pag, pago tayo gumawa ng journal entries, gagawin muna natin yung buong statement or inform, sabi natin informal, informal statement of liquidation ng North, South, East, and West Partnership. Dahil yun yung magiging basis natin sa ating uh, journal entries. First bullet point of the total AR, 80% are collected with the rest judge as uncollectible. Ayan. PPE are sold for 150,000. Okay. Sa AR muna tayo. Loss on realization. Kung 80% ang collected sa AR, therefore, yung natitirang 20%, yun na yung loss on realization. Times 82,000. Which is, hahatiin ng bawat partners. 82, bawas. 80% times, times 82,000 AR equals 65,600. Therefore, yung loss na 16,400 ay i-allocate sa bawat partners. 16,400 times 30% equals uh, 4,920. 16.4 times 10% equals 1,640. 16.4 times 20% equals... 3,280 16.4 times 30% equals 6,560 Next, PPE are sold for 150,000 So, loss on realization ulit Ang PPE ay 253 So, na-realize na siya For 150 Therefore, yung difference na 103,000 is yun yung loss on realization, which is i-allocate sa bawat partners ulit. So, na-realize yung PPE ng 150,000, so dagdag sa cash. Then, yung difference na 103,000 loss on realization would be allocated sa bawat partners. 103 times 30% equals 30,900. 103 times 10 equals... 10,300 103 times 20% equals 20,600 103 times 40% equals uh, 41,200 Okay, tapos na ang PPE Mamaya yung journal entries pag nagawa natin yung buong informal statement of liquidation Next, safe payments are made ito na. Malalaman na natin kung paano ginagamit itong schedule na ginawa natin dun sa first part ng video. Dahil magkakaroon na ng safe payments. And ang amount na, na ilalagay natin dito is nakabase dito. So, ginawa nating schedule. And bago tayo mag-proceed, kailangan muna natin i-determine um, yung balances ng bawat accounts. 15 plus 65.6 plus 150 equals 230,600. AR0, inventory, 101. PPE, 0. Liabilities, still unpaid, is loan. North Capital, 120 minus 4.92 minus 30.9 equals 84,180. 88 minus 1.64 minus 10.3 equals 76.060 74,000 minus 3,280 3,280 
minus 20.6k equals 50,120. And West Capital, 60 minus 6,056 6, minus 41.2 equals 12,240. Okay, ito na yung balances ng bawat accounts after realization ng inventory. Ah, sorry, na realization ng accounts receivable and property plan and equipment. Okay, safe payments are made. So, magkakaroon na ng payment to partners based sa ating problem. But, hindi lahat ng 230,600 is ibabayad sa partners. Bakit? Kasi may 74,000 pa na liabilities na hindi pa bayad. And meron pang anticipated liquidation expense. Ngayon, gagamitin na natin itong um, cash distribution plan. Which is basis natin sa safe payments. Okay. Ngayon, bago tayo mag-proceed, kukumpitin muna natin kung magkano lang yung pwedeng ibayad sa Partners. So, dito na lang sa index card na white. Ang balance ng cash is 230,600. Kagayang hindi nga pwedeng ibayad lahat yan dahil meron pang unpaid na liability 74,000. So, matanggalin natin yung para sa liabilities. Ititira natin yan dahil pambayad natin yan ng liability. Less 74 and ibabawas din natin yung estimated liquidation expense na bilanggit sa problem which is 16,000 ayan ibig sabihin ang cash for distribution lang is 140,600. Ito lang yung pwede nating ibayad sa partners dahil yung 74 at 16 intended siya sa liabilities at sa estimated liquidation expense. Okay. Paano natin ibabayad tong 140.6? Okay, balikan natin tong distribution program. Ayan. Okay. First priority si South. Kaya naman siyang bayaran, no? 33,500 lang yung kailangan sa Priority 1. Masasettle natin ang Priority 1. Therefore, after settling Priority 1, may matitira pang cash na 140.6 minus 33.5 equals 107,100. Kaya pa ba ang Priority 2? Kaya pa dahil 43,500 lang yung kailangan sa priority 2. Priority 2, kay South, ulit, na 14,500. And kay East, na 29,000. Which ang total nito ay 43,500. Ngayon, ang balance ng after settling priority 2, 107.1 minus 43.5 equals 63,600. Okay, masasettle natin ang priority 1 at priority 2. Which is, after settling priority 1 and priority 2, mag, meron pa tayong cash balance na 63,600 na pwede pa nating i-distribute sa partners, sa partners. And meron pang priority 3, which is si North, South, and East. So, kaya ba ng 63,600 na masettle ang priority 3? Hindi. Kasi 150 ang kailangan natin para masettle yung priority 3. Eh, 63,600 na lang yung um, available for distribution sa partners. Paano lang gagawin natin doon? Pwede ba yung itong 63,600? Ibibigay natin lahat kay North muna. 
um, hindi ganun. Dahil ang priority 3 is sabay-sabay sila uh, dapat bigyan ng cash. Na 75, 25, and 50. Ngayon, para magawa natin yan, since na hindi na siya enough para makover yung priority 3, i-allocate natin tong 63,600 sa tatlo. Okay. So, for priority 3, kay North would be 60,600 kay North times 75,000 divided by 150 kay North kay South 63,600 times 25 divided by 150 and kay East, 63,600 times 50 divided by 150,000. Ayan, ganyan ang maging distribution sa priority 3. 63.6 times 75 divided by 150 equals 31,800. 63.6 times 25 divided by 150 equals 10.6. 63.6 times 50 divided by 150 equals 21,200. Okay, so nalaman na natin kung paano i-distribute ang cash to partners. So, ang balance ng cash natin. So, recap lang. Ang balance ng cash natin is 230,600. But, 140,600 lang yung pwede natin i sa partners. And, paano i-distribute ang warty point 6? Ang 140,600. 33,500 kay South. 43,500 kay South and East. And, 63,600 para kay North, South, and East. Which, 31.8 kay North, 10.6 kay South, at 21.2 kay East. Okay, apply na natin sa ating informal statement of liquidation. Okay. Priority 1, South. Okay. Pag payment to partners, uunahin ng loan bago ang capital accounts. So, priority 1. Okay, lagyan natin dito. Ayan. South. 33.5. So, meron bang loan si South? Wala. Therefore, lahat ito ay sa kanyang capital account. Next. Priority 2. We have... Priority 2, we have uh, 43,500. South and East. 43,500. Kay South ay 14,500. Okay. So, lahat yan kay South. Then, 29,000 para kay East. So, meron bang loan si East? Meron. Ito. So, therefore, lahat muna ng 35, ng 29,000 is sa loan muna ilalagay. Ayan. So, magkana lang ang balance ng loan niya? Meron pang 6. Okay. Na natitira. Okay. Priority 3 na tayo. 63,600 to North South and East. Ito yung allocation ng 63.6. Okay. Kay North. So, wala namang loan account si North. Si East lang ang may loan account. Therefore, lahat ng 31.8 is sa kanyang capital. 
Si South naman, 10,600, therefore lahat din yan ay sa kanyang capital account. Kay East, 21,200, so meron siyang loan na 6,000 na lang ang balance dahil nagkaroon na ng payment. Therefore, yung 6,000 sa 21,200 is sa loan muna. Then, yung difference na 15,200 is sa kanyang capital account na mapupunta. Ayan. Okay, update natin ang ating um, cash distribution plan. So, yung 33,500, so settled na, tanggalin na natin dito. Nagyan na natin ng slash. 43,500, so settled na rin siya. Priority 3, so settled na ang priority 1 and priority 2. Ang priority 3 is partially settled pa lang. Okay, yung priority 3 is partially settled pa lang dahil hindi naman na-settle lahat ng 75, 25, and 50. So, dun sa 75,000 para kay North, 31,800 lang yung na-settled. So, 75 minus 31.8. Meron pang natitirang 43,200 na hindi pa settled. Kay South naman na 25 sa priority 3 minus 10.6. So, meron pang hindi na-settled na 14,400. 14,400. Ayan. Then, sa 50,000 na para kay East, 21,200 lang yung nabayad. So, therefore, meron pang 28,800 na na-settle. Total na for settlement pa sa priority 3 is 86,400. Babantayan natin yung priority 3 dahil kapag naubos na yan, ang magiging basis ng allocation ng cash sa partnership would be 30, 10, 20, and 40 which is yung profit and loss share ng bawat partners.